Let's see this question. So the base, we have six, we have nine, we have two. So six can be written as two times three. And nine is can be written as three squared. Then the right hand side, we can break into two raised by two x and times two. So now, now let's bring everything to one side. So maybe write this one, then this one, this one. Okay, so we can write three raised by two x, that's three raised by two x. Then plus two raised by x times three raised by x, right? We distribute x into the exponent of x, distribute into three. The minus two times two raised by two x. Now we have zero on the right hand side. So we see we have at least three raised by two x, we can write as a three raised by x, then squared, then plus two raised by x times three raised by x, minus two times two raised by x squared, right? Two raised by two x can be written as two raised by x squared. Now we see, can we factor this, right? Yes, we can factor this. You see this one we can factor as three raised by x, because this is a plus, we can think of this as a one times, plus one times this two. So write it plus two times two raised by x, then multiply by three raised by x minus two raised by x, that equals zero. Let's see what's going on here. If this is too much trouble, let's look at the formula. Let's call three x eight. So the a squared plus a, let's call two raised by x b minus two times b squared. Right. So basically, we call a 3 raised by x, we call 2 raised by x b. You see, we have a squared plus a b minus 2 b squared. And obviously, that can be factored as a plus 2 b times a minus b. Right. Okay, now, let's see this factor. So two factors to be zero, that means at least one factor has to be zero. But this one will not be zero, right? Because three raised by x will be greater than zero, the some number. And two raised by x will be some number greater than zero. So adding together will be greater than zero. So this number has to be greater than zero. So that means only this factor can be zero. That means only three raised by x minus two raised by x is zero. That means 3 raised by x equals to 2 raised by x. Well, the base are different. The exponent are the same. So x can only be 0. Because 3 raised by 0 is 1. 2 raised by 0 is also 1. So check. 6 raised by 0 is 1. 9 by raised by 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. We have 2 on the left-hand side. On the right hand side, two times zero is zero. Zero plus one is one, two is by one. Indeed, two equals a two. So x equals zero is the solution.